be a group of thieves trying to infiltrate or being invisible and just trying to scope it out. Reasonably, if, if I may, I think I can respond to this bit. You want to bring enough fighters to defend yourself if you get attacked, enough speed that you can get away if you need to run, and enough overwhelming power that if you need to have, say, John D. throw a fireball to deter them, you can deter them. We need people to stay with the wagons and stuff, mm -hmm. though. So, for example, Kragen and Pascal, they can't move so fast. They're in full plate armor, but they're solid fighters. Keep mm -hmm. them with the wagon because they can't move so fast. Goran has magic armor, so his movement rate is much better. Have him go with the scouting party. Stuff but like that. But it still makes loud noises. It you does. So he would stay back yep. and act as a defensive force if we got jumped by surprise. Lagos is already going. Safety in numbers. I, I don't know. I'm throwing out ideas, but go ahead. 19.5 is... If you want my truest opinion, I think the best way we will we can do this is through a scout, like a infiltrating. Saying How as bandits? As or bandits. Yeah, as invisible. Here? I would say bandits would be most easier to do here. I'd rather not go that way. Well, you don't have to go then. You don't have to force yourself to go. I mean, no one's going to force you to go. That's what I mean. Not force yourself to go. It, it, it's not the fact Rather that... Rather than scatter yeah. out invisibly, get a lay of the land. Come back to the group to let them know what's going on and strategize. Rather than infiltrate. May, may I, I say something? I don't have that many hit points. So, if something bad may happens, I say something? you're going to be stuck. Essex's plan is to, if he can, kill the leader before we do our frontal assault. That's my plan at the present moment. But I can see that backfiring because, oh yeah, these new bandits showing up. Oh hey, the leader's dead. That could create Again, a power vacuum. It... it it was more of the fact that, say we did do the invisible thing, Essex could attempt to kill off the leader if I have clear sight of him. However, if we decide to do the scouting, like the bandits, now this would take longer. We could wait till potential nighttime and Essex could try and infiltrate the captain's house and cut his throat, and then we dip. He's in the cave. We're both in the cave. That in and of itself causes another issue. Again, the these are just ideas. We summon the monsters and send them into the cave. I mean, honestly, at this point, we might as well just do a frontal assault, be done with it. Two fireballs. Clean up the rest. At that point, at this point, I have made my... I've made my... argument in this scenario. It is up to y'all at this present moment. Like, Lagos has already stripped off her heavy armor to get down to her magical chainmail. She's ready to go with the scouting party. At this point, I'm just waiting for y'all to make a decision. Well, since we only technically have an hour of session time, do y'all mind if I just call the shot? Actually, I run till midnight normally. Oh. But... So we have two hours. Plenty enough well, time to figure this hear out. you out, at the very least. I say we just go with if, the invisible if you... plan. Sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry, I talked over you. Uh, I say that we just go with the invisible plan. We just decide to have, like, what is it, three people be invisible, scout out, see if we could take out maybe one or two people before dipping, and then we tell you what we see. 
afterwards, we do the frontal assault. Any objection? One second. Any objections to this? I'm still typing out some options. It's easier to visualize when we have it out. So I've got Essex, your idea, which I'm calling to. Idea one is just the fallout assault. Idea two is three or four people go invisible. They just go in fast, maybe get an assassination off, get some details, then go. Give me a second, though. The frontal assault's my idea, not Essex. Well, not again, I'm just putting it down on paper and giving it numbers. I can cast Entangle on the encampment. If uh, there's grass in the area, yes. Well, Grill said that there was dense-ish forest. Yes, dense forest, but... Medium to dense forest and jungle between the village and the camp. Yes, but we don't it know is... what's in the camp is the thing. Okay, well, they do have a bit of a clearing where they have their tents pitched is what you were told and occasionally on the way there there are areas that are kind of trails you know they've taken pains not to wear down well beaten paths but you know go on vader huh you were going to say something i was gonna put a chip in my mouth i was the way of me saying anything Ariel doing? Hello, Ariel. Uh, currently debating on how to do a full frontal assault for scouting and crap like that. Uh. <coughs> okay, so 27 instead of 31. Okay. That hey, Golden. For a little bit. Um, there's no way I can play. Oof. All right, well, I have you with the sleeping okay. sickness, but... Please, before you go, update your triage to 100% for Ariel. You were here. Yeah. Golden, feel better, my man. It's been horrible. <sighs> but, um, I know how you feel. I was there. So I ended up before. having yes. um, an asthma attack earlier. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Golden, go get some sleep. Feel better. We love you, okay? I can't even sleep. I've been having hot and cold flashes all day. You take any medication? Day cool and Tylenol for my headache. I can't. I can't look around without my head just being in constant pain. I was about to ask, what kind of medication do you take for COVID? Ah, uh, well, for certain yeah, symptoms cool. like fever, you could do Motrin and Tylenol, for example. I've been mostly okay. I had an asthma attack when I was. Using the bathroom because I was in so much pain. So that was great. Oof. I'm sorry, Golden. Yeah. A whole lot of stomach pain, and then add to that, I had back pain. And then I just lit to a panic attack, now to a panic attack, to an asthma attack. Yeah, that's about is... how I felt in the hospital so when I got hospitalized with it. Yeah. I'm doing. I guess I'm alive at least. I'm living. <laughs> yeah, it sucks though. Alright. Party, might I recommend we have the bulk of the party. It probably can't take the wagons or roan. But we you have the can. bulk of the party go most of the way there. Then when we're say a mile or so out by our rough calculations, we have a scouting party go. Quickly take a poke around, look. If there's an opportune moment for like a fireball that would catch leaders or a assassination on leaders, do that and then come back. Or likewise, if a fireball goes off and the rest of the party's like, oh, hey, that was, that was a bunch of noise from over there. I think the assault's begun. Let's go catch up to them, and we get there as quick as we can. <laughs> Fireballs will lose loot, though. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, it will. If there's 100 people, though, it might be uh, expedient. Likewise, and loot's probably in the cave. And with women and children, fireballs will be off the table. That indeed would be. What? Yes. Who's saying that? I know that's not Lagatha saying that. <laughs> no, so. Aiden is saying that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, 
And Double M saying, yeah, I, I concur. So I think the smartest thing to do here would be to keep as much of the party together as possible. If we need to leave one of the Corvos or two behind to guard the wagon, I'm willing to take that hit. And then, yeah, we get close to there, and then we send out a scouting, a scouting party. This way, the bulk of the party can respond if it turns out that they see us coming and prepare an ambush. And if not, then we should have the bulk of the party there and ready to strike. Well, let me know so I can get Lagatha dressed back in her full her full plate. Uh, I'm checking. Is this what the party wants to do? Now that I can finally voice, this is a way for me to give input. And like I said, Lagatha is ready to go as is with the scouting and get it done with. But... Well, party. Are we all good with the bulk of the party going? Maybe leave a guard or two behind for the wagons, and then when we get there, we have a scouting party? I'm Any objections? That sounds good. Maybe the crow could do a, a quick overpass. And we want to be careful about someone better, losing their familiar. Idea of, well, that's what I mean. Quick overpass high just to get, them, get an idea of direction. All right. So that you seems know, to be... So we're, not, so we're not wandering around. If the crow could get a high view of things. To I have to be within a mile campus. to get the images. Excuse me? I have to be within a mile of it. The thing is 15 miles. I don't suppose you could show me yes, where in the we player's closer, handbook. We, once we think we're closer, you could send up your, your crow to get a better sense of direction. Mm -hmm. What was that, Vader? And is this corresponding to something you've read in the Dungeon Master's Guide this or Player's Handbook? This is corresponding with what Dungeon Master goes and what the book says. You won't get any book of the. Does not say that. Find familiar is very homebrewed. I give up. I can't speak every time I speak. Someone over talks me. Fuck it. All right, guys, guys, give it a second. Lydia, go ahead. And she's typing. Spirit of Lydia, if you're with us, give us a sign. Oh, there it is. LSR is typing. The Ouija board moved to F, then U. <laughs> All right. If the airwaves are open indeed, then... it. So far, I haven't heard anyone decline the... Uh, idea for where the bulk of the party moves close and then once we get within say a mile or so we have either the crow do a flyby or a scouting party assemble thus lydia i believe that's said, what we wish to do lydia said i am good i am done with being over talk i'm here and will be actions in the round that is about it okay all right so party remember you're at the village we are in like a big circle and ideas and stuff so Options. What is the party gonna do? Okay. The forest should be thick enough we won't be able to take the wagons, correct? Correct. From our intel? Okay, so then the wagons are gonna have to be here. We have Link Boys and Teamsters. Do we want to leave anyone in the party with them? Uh, KGP are each willing to volunteer to be the odd man out or the two odd men out. But I'll they stay with the wagon. I was gonna say, I would stay behind as well. Venus, uh, Bevan, I would recommend you guys go with just because I control three heads. If one or two of my guys get sidelined, I can still play. If you guys get sidelined, you're going to spend the whole session doing nothing, and that doesn't feel fun to me. I'm with that, honestly. Hey, I'm know, worried I'm about my size advice. going through. I'm going to give you all some advice. Do what Double M said, because you two are healers. The party might need you up there. He can lose one of his three fighters to guard shit, and... Yeah, Bevan, it might be a little awkward at points for you, but yeah, you, you can make it. Okay, Rob. I was just worried about my size and getting through. I, I can sympathize. I play a centaur in a different campaign. I'm a big boy, too. Eight foot tall, 2,200 2, plus pounds. Yeah. I am Clyde of the Dale. All right, so we'll need to figure out a formation, and we'll need to figure out who's staying behind. If Rel is offering to stay behind, then perhaps only one of the Corvos? Is that agreeable to everyone? 
I mean, each of them would, of course, love to participate, but if we want to leave one or two of ourselves behind, the Corvos are volunteering for that because they recognize the importance of guard duty. Alright, does anyone in the party... Uh, Rel, do you object if you're the only one behind and KGP go ahead, or would you like one of us behind with you? Between you and Roan, I highly doubt anyone's going to try and mess with our stuff, but if you want another uh, person for company, we're fully available and willing. Would prefer if Kragen stuck behind. Alright, Kragen nods and he will be staying behind. Gorn and Pascal shall go with the group. Uh, the brothers, you know, embrace, good luck, happy hunting, don't get caught doing anything I wouldn't get caught doing, and boom. That leaves everyone else coming with, I believe, other than, you know, the sleeping forms of uh, Sebastian, Veritas, and Ariel. That's that's what I have. All right, I'm going to quickly type up a tracking slash walking formation if we don't have one that should suit this or adjust our current one. Information campsite layout. Temp walking formation. Okay, it looks like we got something pretty good here. So it's Seven Sebastian, okay. Veritas, Ariel, as they have the sleepy sickness, are staying behind. Roan, Kragen, and Rel are also staying behind to guard and defend the caravan's property and uh, animals and Seven make sure that pass the, the unsavory teamsters and link boys do not rob you all blind. Uh... Seven, I need to know, are you taking uh, Walrump the rat with you? Okay, Gorn, let's move you over towards the back line. Where we have someone and, uh, in the back. Oh, while we're still in this in between stage, John would ask Rel if she'd be willing to watch over Camellia for John since this might be a dangerous situation for her. A oh, will rump, not wall rump. My apology to your rat. Willum, no art. Will, will lump. Oh, okay. Will lump. Willem. A thousand pardons, noble rat. <clears throat> okay, I've got an idea for a temporary walking formation. Well, a walking formation here, I just need to think. Essex, you any good at tracking? On the off chance we need to be like, hmm, anyone see any tracks? Yeah, it probably won't be needed. Rel will take care of the ferret. Wow, when did the party get a ferret? Fowl's a Good mage. question. Robin's a mage. Weasel. Weasel, yes. <laughs> mage, fighter thief. Wall rump, ferret, Gaster. weasel, tomato, potato, you know, it's All right. the same thing. Per. Alright, party. Uh, I can make a dirty joke here, but I'm not. Lagatha, currently I have you as the quote-unquote tip of the spear in the fact that you're center middle. You know, you've got seven on your left and Gorn on your right. Gorn will offer to take middle if you would prefer, but it is up to you, Lightning Warrior. I, 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 I know you you prefer to be the front and center of the action and stuff, so it's your call. And then I guess John's the wizard in the real. The John, right yeah, you're pretty far back. The righteous place for a lightning warrior at the front. Well, there's three spots in the front. The arc of the lightning bolt. The arc of the lightning bolt. I like that. Otherwise, this is what I got. Front and center. Duly noted. So yeah, party that's going with, please take a oh. look. Oh, Seven told a dirty joke. Staying behind. Pig Rel, comma, Kragen. Veritas Air, uh, Veritas Ariel you all are in voice but I'm guessing you all are sleeping sickness because you mentioned how out of it you are and I'm not imposing they that are. on you 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to play today. The DM has decreed that Ertas, Ariel, and Sebastian Anyone else? are still in the sleeping sickness. I'm, I'm just trying to hang out for a little bit. Even though it's been more than 35 days now. Goran is right-handed, as far as I'm aware. Grills, if you would correct me, otherwise I had all three of my guys as right-handed. That's, that's fine. That's peachy. Now, I guess that means, yeah, his shield hand is on the wrong side. He should be on the other. Is seven left-handed, where it would make more sense to switch them? She's also right-handed. Okay. Up to you where you want them to go. Gorn's good wherever in the formation you think it is. Yeah, <laughs> most people are righties. But yeah, I think we have a good formation here. Uh, any critiques, comments, people? I tried to put the fighters in the front and mages more towards the back. Healers in the way back. I think it should work. Reasonably, we could probably swap Bevan and Valerie. But I don't know. We'll have to see. I got Pascal in the back line in case we get ambushed from the rear. The rear. There. And he's also decent with the bow, so if we need to engage at range... Forgot your cross. I, I, I've lost it. Crow. Well, Lagatha, I imagine the crow doesn't march in formation, so it's probably either on your shoulder or head or flying above us. And that's another thing. Uh, people with familiars, if you want to send them to scout ahead, tell me and I'll add it. So, Lagatha, tell me where in the formation you'd like to try and command your familiar, and I'll put it there, and girls will decide if it can even go there. Well, I say can, but if it will, I should say. But yeah, otherwise, Dungeon Master, we're going to set off. Uh, we're a decent group. I know we got people walking around in plate, so at best, we're going to go two miles an hour on foot. Probably even worse, because it's thick jungle at points, he said, and that's going to take a while to cut through. Okay. Seven has a magic sword. Lagatha's got a battle axe, which should be good for cutting. So, yeah, between them. Gorn's got a hammer, but he's also got a magic short sword that he uses as the backup weapon. No, wait, hold on. Pascal has it, but Gorn has a magic dagger. So between them, they should be able to clear a path for the party. Okay, so you are chopping your way. If we need to. I know that jungles get pretty thick, and we didn't bring machetes, but magic weapons should be fine, I hope, for sharpness purposes. And I'm rolling dice! Assuming the party starts at this time in the morning. I will add that in. So I'm going to march slightly ahead of Lagatha so she can focus in on her crow's vision when needed. Right. So yeah, we're going to make a V formation with that, but inverted. So yeah, Dungeon Master, obviously we're not rigidly staying exactly in formation. If someone picks up or falls behind, they do that, you know? Okay. But in general, we're going to try and adhere to this. <laughs> now, before we head out, I need to ask Party, do we, are we good on spells that we want? John D, you've got your flying spells, your invisibility spells, your fireballing spells. Otherwise, I did not have invisibility in my. Okay, okay yeah. uh, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff in out of character chat that you know this is where we all talk to each other. It's not actions for the round or in character chat. I can see the confusion here. So John D is informing Rel to get the weasel's attention whenever she needs to communicate, and he will also inform Camellia to tell John when someone tries to. Hey, hey, Weasel, wake up, wake up. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, that's that's covered, John D. Uh, flying around in a circle, keeping an eye out. If possible, would Gorn and Seven be willing to march slightly ahead of Lagatha so she can focus in on her crow's vision as needed? Okay, sounds agreeable. Yes, everybody good? Yep. Okay. So y'all have, oh, there it is, party movement formation. Seven, Lagatha, a few steps behind hey. Gorn. Val, Robin, Essex. Ariel, that's... Oh. John, Ariel. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ariel is sleepwalking there, double M. I will edit it. Thank you. Forgot about that. Okay. I knew I was missing someone. Seven, Pascal, Venus. Okay. okay. Valerie, okay. you're pretty squishy. I'm going to place you next to John. Either that's a good thing or a bad thing, you get to decide. 
John, actually, would you mind switching places with Robin? Because, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a formation. I switched a couple things around. John, you're a little bit closer to the front line because I know you've been receiving fighter training and you might be able to handle yourself a bit better. You've still, still got the front line with you. But in terms of the squishy mage center, you're a little towards the front. And Essex, I know you've been talking about going for oh. sneaky attacks and shit. You'd probably be good in the rear, but you might need, you know, the ability to move out quickly and do that if you want. Just be careful, brother. Robin, Valerie, I believe you two are squishy. Bevan's pretty tough. Venus. Venus. You know what? Yeah. Venus, I'm squishing you between Pascal and Bevan for safety's sake. Bum, 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 bum. Seven Lagatha Goran, John Essex, Robin Val, Bevan Venus Pascal. Okay, yeah. I think this is good. It's not perfect, but it should suffice. Did I goof on a thing? That is not... Switch that with that. There we go. Alright, Dungeon Master, I have updated the formation a tiny bit. And Goran okay. or Pascal will be the one to poke these people in position. Call it meta if you'd like, because after a certain point I was like, okay, John and Robin should be diagonal, that way if either of them need to throw out a fireball to the side or behind, they've got the best field of coverage, and I'll switch it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let it slide. I never actually opened up my character sheets. You should do that. Well, like, I opened them, but I didn't get them organized. I have them aligned to the corners because I got four things up. Okay. Right. So they were going to spend five gold pieces per week. That's a plat per week. We were there for five weeks, five plat. Nice and easy. Let me see if what I wrote down is here. And no, it's not, which means that was a typo. And that thing is completely off kilter. That's just, how did I get that fucking number? what it is. Mm. All right. All right. Seven Lagatha Gorn, John and Essex, Valerie Robin, Bevan Venus Pascal. Okay. I've got that in my head. It should be a solid formation at this point. Maybe I missed one or two things, but the obvious holes are covered. All right, so again, it's medium to vary on the density scale. And it spots its light. Yes, yes, John D. Face uncertain death again. Just can't wait to face the breath weapon again. Making saving throws with all my friends. We just can't wait to face certain death again. Alrighty. So, after what seems like forever, but realistically is probably closer to... Oh, messages and things. Apologies, Dungeon Master. That should have waited. I actually didn't mean to hit enter. <laughs> Out of character chat. Duly noted. Ah, very good, very good. 
Okay, so after what feels like forever, especially the people up front hacking and slashing when it's necessary. Mm. I will need seven Lagatha. Actually, ooh, I got to roll a thing. Okay, so Lagatha and seven Lagatha and Gorn. I'll need perception checks from you two. Already checked. Three, Dungeon Master. Three out of 15. Would John have a chance of seeing over, well, at least Lagatha's head at this? No, you don't. Okay, uh, those are both successful, although not as, obviously, uh, Double M, your guy is going to clue in faster, but yeah, Seven, Lagatha, you will clue in also. Uh, something ahead of the party, you know, there's brush in between you and whatever it is, moving. Does it appear to be moving towards us, away from us, or we can't tell? It seems like, oh, and for your crow, Lagatha, it failed its perception check. Uh, just so you know, I rolled really high for it. Uh, it is moving, it's in front of you, maybe it's hard to tell because you can't see it, but you can hear the movement. Yes, way higher than a 15. Uh, it's ahead of you and moving from, like, just off center to the right, further to the right, quick. And it's not bothering to try and move stealthily. It's crashing through the brush and whatnot. Okay, again, you hear this thing ahead of you. You can't tell the distance, but fairly close. Ahead of you and slightly off to the right. And it's moving to the right. Something ahead with an exclamation point, he whispers. Party, yeah, so ahead. You know, I'm trying not to scream, but uh, get their attention if I can. Okay, that's how directions work. Let, let, let me try again, Lydia. So, you are moving in what you think is a straight line. And when you hear this, this crashing and crushing of the underbrush, where you hear the noise start is straight in front of you, but just a little to the right. And it is continuing to move to your right. So, you're, you don't know its orientation. No, not coming towards you. Damn it, that monster is supposed to yeah. be further, right? Yeah, that works. That works double M. It's it's funky, but it works. <laughs> hey, what is Sebastian's deal right now? Sleeping sickness, I believe. Sleeping sickness. He Sorry, I mean that. Sleeping sickness, I believe. <clears throat> okay. Gorn whispering. Party, something ahead. And. So I've got Gorn. Stopping, leveling crossbow, and holding up closed fist. Yeah, that military signal for stop. LS, entry down for crossbows, but keep going. Seven, keep an eye. Molinator out. Dungeon Master, let me know when Gorn can respond to John's question if he hears John's question. Oh, I didn't know he had made a question. Let me see. Preemptive strike. He replies, hands ready. 
Draw a bow, wait for clear shot. Okay, that's Asif, a good point, Pascal. Knocked an arrow, and you have drawn, and, and you're waiting for a clear shot. Let's see, you are in the second rank. Okay. Robin, you're in the third rank, ready with bow. So I assume an arrow notched, but maybe not drawn. Okay, and Gorin, you can respond, even though I've got, I don't think I have all the actions from the party in. All right, and I have to go pee real quick while we're waiting for a couple of more entries, maybe, I'm not sure, didn't count them, I'll, but I could, gotta pee, I'll be right back. This actually feels like we're starting to do shit now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am having flashbacks. I am back, so I'm hoping I'm still at wagon. You wanted to remain at the wagon? Yes. She did say that. He was yes. very adamant about putting her with us. Ah, I did not realize that. Alright, with DM's permission, I will remove you from the formation. As I said at 10.09, this is why I said I would stay back, because I'm in and out helping my mom and doing laundry. You could be NPC'd while remaining with the party. Are you sure you want to be completely removed from the action? It's fine. Okay, then with the Dungeon Master's permission, I will remove you from the formation, and I'm going to collapse the line of John, Robin, Essex, since there's no reason to go too wide at that point. So, John, you'll be left, Robin, middle, Essex, right. This is going to cost us a heat. Oh, my bad. Not Val. Jesus Christ. Never mind. That's actually going to be fine. Damn it. All right. Let's see. Robin ready with Bo. Valerie keeping an eye out. Hey, Dungeon Master. Yes. I didn't realize Venus wanted to remain back. Is it okay if we scoop her out of the formation? Uh... If that's okay with Venus. Yes, it is, because she did tell him that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I know she said something about laundry, but I didn't wasn't sure if that was... Okay, so Venus, you are back at, with the party at the, the village. What's... with... The portion of the party that's back at the village, you are with them. <laughs> I have edited the okay. formation. Okay, excellent. Alright. Uh, okay. What is this in out-of-character chat? I must... Okay, got it, got it. Okay. So... Crossbows, bows, mace, and keeping an eye out. I don't see anything from John D. Holding. Okay. As Corn has asked him to. Okay. Hey, and look who showed up. It's a, it's a Leonard. Sebastian. Suddenly a wild Sebastian appears. Hey, how you doing, man? He forgot. <laughs> he forgot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, Leonard, you've only missed the first three and a half hours, so... Okay. 
parents are watching Jurassic Park, and so they just got to the part where everybody decides <clears throat> to scream at the top of their lungs. Oh, lovely. All right, so Leonard, currently Sebastian has sleeping sickness for, like, such a long time in a row. You're going to need to shave when you wake up, Sebastian. But right now, the party left you behind for their own, for your own safety. So, uh... You're in a village. You're gonna wake up. You're in the back of a wagon. Ah, you're sore all over. You've been sleeping for. He's so on damn. the Huda. Oh, okay. I thought y'all put him in a little wagon, but no. okay. He's on the Huda, but yeah, you've been laying in the same position for so damn long. Oh, you reach up and damn, you have a beard now. Okay. And you be hungry. And a full head of hair again. Well, I, maybe not a full head of hair, but he's got hair, for sure. Yes, you're very hungry, Sebastian. So you're going to rip through, like, a full day's rations in one sitting. Oh, shit. I forgot that he lost his hair. Yeah. So, so that, lost should a be, lot. that should be you for the next ten minutes or so, Sebastian. Just scarfing food down. <laughs> Now, back with the main portion of the party. Y'all level your bows, your crossbows. Bevan, you're ready to whack a mole. And John D., Valerie, y'all are ready. You, you, hands are open. You're thinking about which pocket to, or pouch to dip into for that spell component. And which sorcery you want to bring to bear on the... Whatever it is. And... Uh, so a few moments goes by, and by this time you can all, because you've all stopped, and you can hear the movement in the brush ahead and to the right, and it continues for about another 30 seconds, and then it stops. Oh, that's right. So you two didn't stop. You kept going. All right. But, uh, okay. I mean, you're not hacking through the foliage while holding a crossbow, ideally. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. Anyhow, new. down to their crossbow, but not grabbed it to hold it. Okay. Okay. Arrow notched, but not drawn. Well, I guess I have to mark that encounter off. Actually, I won't, because fuck, y'all might come back to it. Who knows? Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is funny. You realize she also, they also said something, right? because the chat did not ping. There was messages here, and he's whispering. Uh, 
I'm a little confused on that, but okay. Point is, uh, Dungeon Master, the party will regroup. You know, I'm not rushing to immediately catch up with uh, Lagatha 7, but, you know, pick up the pace a bit, catch up with them. Hope that the okay. party behind me, you know, I... does the same and we reassume the formation. I see, that was after the in character chat. Gotcha. Still being careful and watching, and still mace in hand. Bravo! <coughs> Keep moving. Uh, Valerie and John D, are y'all still moving also? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? Ditto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh. Oh, put these anywhere. There we go. They won't be last there. Hopefully. Do, do, do. Well, time continues to go as whatever the hell it was. Maybe it was deer or giant bunny rabbits or hell. Who knows? But uh, it didn't come back and attack y'all. So uh, let's see. Another hour or so will go by, and you are getting hungry. Alrighty, let's hold up and have lunch. And at this point, Dungeon Master, you know, I'm not whispering anymore. There's no... Well, I'm not aware of any immediate normal, monsters, so... Normal voice. Normal conversation. So how long is the party going to stop for lunch? Not gonna waste much time. Just eat. Not, you know, shoveling the food down so bad you get a stomach ache, but don't dilly-dally. Anyone need to get spells back? No, everybody's locked in tight on spells, so far as I know. 20 minutes to eat. Right. Okay. John, right. Gorn will suggest that if, if there is something and it seems bad, use the spell, but while we're heading towards an objective, and I know it takes you all a while to get those back, and you can only do so many of them, save it for when we need it. We don't know what the hell that thing was. Could have been <clears> taken <throat> down in two shots, and the spell would be wasted. I okay, don't know. So yeah. How much of that he can actually know enough about to say as a dungeon master? If that's meta, feel free to tell me I didn't say that. Yeah, it, uh, you can't unring the bell, so. Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, so, yeah, Sebastian, you ate a full day's worth of rations, and then, you know, a few hours go by and you eat lunch, so you can mark off another meal. Because, wow, you would have thought that would have stayed with you for a while. But, nope, lunchtime comes around. And, yeah, you're you're hungry like a normal thing. Now, Sebastian, during this time, you've woken up. And after you've stuffed your face. By the way, uh, Venus, Rel, Kragen, you're there. Y'all see Sebastian wake up. And he tears into his food. And I'll assume that between that time and lunch that are conversing and it's like hey what happened where are we and yeah you've been asleep for like 37 days dude and uh but those two uh, almost as long as you have and uh or maybe longer i forget regardless they're filling you in about the bandits that yeah, i think you were part of that fight and uh they're the the others that aren't here with you in the village have did a some of them did a bunch of training, and uh, now they're going off to raid the bandit camp. Bandit camp. And uh, some of them stayed behind to guard stuff and protect the sleeping, and some of y'all stayed back because you were sleeping. Twenty minutes to eat, so I have to do that, and then I do that, and we'll call that that. Not bad. Hungry Seb, looks like you're going to need to shave. Seven Lagatha. Next time there might be a monster. It's smarter to hold and see if it passes us by. If it comes crashing towards us. We'll have more time to receive it. All good. 
Ooh, I thought of something I, I should check. Because that's kind of a two ways. No, not really. Uh... Wow. Okay, never mind. That's just good. I don't have to crank back time and edit. <coughs> Reagan telling Sebastian, welcome back, Sebastian. That was a while, even for you. All right, and the party continues to travel after their lunch. What the hell? That should have been a that. And then a... Now, for the party back at the main camp at the village, so to speak, if y'all wish to do anything special, please, uh, yeah, add it in there at some point, because the party is split at this point. Brain fart. Apology, Dungeon Master. I should have asked you if it was good for Goran to give that uh, lesson. Yeah. What was the strategic lesson? Mages should conserve their spells if they don't know the nature of the danger, just due to the amount of time it takes to get a spell back. And he doesn't know about like daily limits and such, but he knows that we spend a lot of time waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you kind of overstepped your bounds there, but again, I, I'm I'm pretty sure the magic users in the party know this. You, you were. You were teaching uh, joggers how to walk at that point, so. <laughs> but yeah, I, again, I don't think it affected the 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 session in any way. So. Just we're apologize. Just gonna, yeah, you <laughs> kind of stepped over the line into meta there, but since it's not having any effect on the session, I'm, I'm just going to let that slide. Bad double end. Bad. All right, I've marked off rations for my guys. I've kind of fallen behind, so I just deducted three for a safety measure in case I missed one or two here or there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Rel feeding Roan, Willem, and Camellia, then herself. Okay. All good on missile fire here. Bandages and right. rations. another hour and that's a uh... shots armor arms perfect bolt heavy man I love even numbers like that And I have to grab, oh no, this book slid and I had my foot on it. That's not good. There we go. Yes, Rel, you will find that uh, the weasel is aggressive 
and the fact that it will poke its nose towards the food, but is cautious at the same time. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Where is that formation? So, oh, first things first. So, Lagatha, you're going to see something. And by something, it looks like a beach ball. It's bright red. And uh, by me, by you see a thing, you see a thing through Saronic's eyes. Okay, y'all make sure you mark off those rations and stuff. Uh, So it's, you, you might want to redact that and let me, and that's an out of character. I think you wanted to use in, yeah. Just hold off, Lydia. I see a beach ball and it's red. No, in out of character chat? Or you're doing this for posterity? Whatever. Okay, you're looking through your familiar's eyes. And you see this thing that looks like a beach ball, sort of, and it's red. Uh, but it has eye stalks. And there's not just one of them. There's a bunch of them. And they see you're familiar. They look at your familiar with multiple eyes each. So, uh, oh, why did I capitalize the A? Okay, so uh, party, party A, the and party B is at the village. Uh, Lagatha, do you stop dead in your tracks with shock, or do you continue to plow forward? dead. Okay, so party A, uh, Lagatha stops dead in her tracks, and she kind of lets out a muffled scream, get back to me now! And, uh, okay, so Lagatha, your familiar senses your distress and is beelining it back to you. Party new! <laughs> the party has heard Lagatha quasi yes. scream that. Yes. All right, thus, a certain sense of urgency could be inferred from that. Mm, could be. All right. Oh, let me edit Pascal. I get the feeling we're going to want something a little better. Just kidding. There 
There you go, Lydia. I answered that in private message. Since the rest of the party shouldn't know until that information is shared. And I'm going to go for a couple of drags real quick, party people. Fun time. This ought to be some good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Essex, ready, bow. Pascal, put away bow and arrow. Draw a short sword, plus four defender and shield, and move up. Uh, Pascal, what, what's your def, uh, defender set to right now? Currently, it's set to defense. Full defense, gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's where I normally keep it. I'm no Akurami. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're, you're Shall not have my gift from Lord up. You're the anti Akoromid with your defender. Okay. Uh, Gorn, aim crossbow, ready to fire, draw a hammer, and shoot. Bevan, whack a ready. Like moves towards her familiar, hand going to her crossbow, point it up, and in character chat. Dungeon Master, I added something to my action for posterity. Following lag. Mm hmm. Okay, and that's Gorn. Gotcha. Both of them following, obviously. <laughs> okay. You shall not have my gift from Lord Um. Nope. Oh, hold on. Ah. Got it. Got that bug. You vile red ball creatures. Saronix, I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> okay, and I handled that privately, so I do not have to respond. Let's see. Seven grabs crossbow, confused, looking around for opponents. Valerie, keeping an eye out. Robin is typing. Bow ready, arrow notched. John D. Why do I have the feeling I seriously need to get my fumbles and crits chart out now? Oh, I couldn't imagine why. Rumbles and crits. There we go. Stage is set. She she. Okay. Let's see. I got Bevan. I got Robin. I don't have John D. Uh, I got Seven and Lagatha. You're moving to the front following yep. like abandoning the rear position. Oh yeah, rear it sounded better. Heavily defended. Essex. I don't see an S. Oh, he bow ready. That's right. He was the first one in. And Valerie, I got ready to throw darts. Okay, so you've got a couple of darts in hand, John D. Really noted. Okay. 
Okay, that has laid the groundwork. That gave y'all some prep time. Good thing you had that familiar out there flying around. Otherwise, y'all would have ran smack into these things. I think this is not the right bookmark. Oh, no, it is. Okay, so guys, just just for uh, beach balls are about, say, three feet in diameter. Okay? That's, that's my mindset. If you disagree, it's clarified for you. So as you're all readying forward, uh, Lagatha, your familiar will come zipping in between tree branches and stuff to you. Now, at this point, Lagatha, because this is like a micro round for you, what do you want your familiar to do? Because as this is going to be combat in a moment here, unless y'all do certain things, uh, I'll need to know where your familiar is at or striving to be at. If you want to put that in, say, out of character or actions for the round for your familiar or Saronics. Okay, I got that. So you're sending Saronix to John D. So the bird is passing by you, and birds fly pretty fast. And yeah, your crow, John D., you of course will see the, the crow zipping in and trying to land on your pack. John D., I assume you're not trying to uh, fend it off as you do recognize it as Lagatha's familiar. Why does that flash me back to that picture in the Dungeon Master's Guide with the two guys in armor? holding the cat with weapons ready and stay back wizard or the familiar gets it. Anyhow, I digress. I would say that is a sign of great trust, John D. Vader, you there? Sorry, yeah. Okay, so you're letting the crow land on your backpack? Yes. Okay. All right, so party, as y'all have readied yourselves for combat and whatever the hell these beach ball looking things are, because they have eye stalks and they have little leg claw things underneath of them and a mouth, you hear these noises. Dungeon Master? Yes. Is this language? Not as far as your helmet can tell. And you see these things as I've described them, and they're starting to pop through the foliage and become visible, and they move fast. They seem to jump with their two little legs and float through the air, and they're still making those bloop, 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 noise. And they've got a number of eye stalks on their heads there what's that insect term where the head and the body is one thing oh yes Essex they're coming straight towards the party from dead ahead and there's a bunch of them well 
Yeah, that would be actions for the round. And hang on. Hang on, there will be a new posted soon. Let's see it. Party A. There's more than a dozen of them. More than a dozen. I can only designate targets. And they're just kind of bouncing and jumping and moving really fast. And sometimes they spin through the air a little bit. And it's like, yeah, they kind of float through the air propelled by their little legs that have vicious looking claws on the ends of them. Okay, I see Essex, I see KGP, I see LSR. Well, LS, uh, and in that case, GP. Uh, I see Valerie, I see Bevan is typing. Uh, that means I'm waiting on Robin and uh, John D. Uh, wrong clipboard. This clipboard, I need to like asterisk the ship for this switch our split. Oh, well, this sucks. Okay. Seven. 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 Let's get out. Back to the Essex Valley. Okay, so I've got Essex. John D, how many darts do you get per round? Two? Three. Three. Okay. Hardy, I will need an initiative check and uh lag These effect. are band size is smaller, right? These are classified and I will say this once, Party. Small. They are about a three foot diameter global thing. Head, body is all one piece. Two lean out. Lagatha, you are the front runner, hence you are in the most jeopardy. You may dice initiative for the party. Duly noted. Two. Okay, what's this out of character? Yeah, baby beholders coming towards us. Fire. Hilarious baby beholders. Oh, y'all wish. They all wish these were baby beholders. <sighs> okay, so, John D, as you get. Who am I gonna pick today? John D, as you get three shots per round as compared to the archers with their bows, you may roll to hit your first dart. Julian at a... A 10 at third. Huh. Screen. Uh, I almost toppled my mount with Toby Bay. There would have been Twinkies. 
and Rice Krispie treats and sweet tart ropes all over the place. 10 at 3rd John D. Ten at third. Oh no, John D. That thing actually, because you can see it's got like four eye stalks at least, and it sees your dart and it just kind of shifts midair and slides a little bit to the side, and your dart goes flying right by. Dungeon master. Yes. Crossbows. Oh, you're right. Ah, oh, damn, I screwed up. Thanks, Double M. That's actually Aiden. I'm his voice oh, piece well. in this one. That's him. <laughs> okay, thanks, Lydia. My bad. You're absolutely right, but since John D went ahead and I, I screwed up, took it out of order, my fault, but thank you for chiming in. All right, so let's go to crossbows. Uh, going down the list. Gorin, roll the hit. I rolled a three. <laughs> a three at what? Three as a seventh level fighter. Uh, my dexterity bonus should be plus one side. It's actually three minus one, so that's a two at seven. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a miss. I'm pretty sure that doesn't even hit the charts. No, it doesn't. It's like armor class 12. It's fine, like marking off that miss. I should have made myself better cheat sheet for this encounter, because I came up with this, like, almost a week and a half ago. Alright, but now I've got the number in my head. Okay, next crossbow, which is, uh, not Pascal. Pascal doesn't have a crossbow yet. I'm no, give him one. so, Lagatha and Seven doing crossbows, I believe. LS crossbow, then holding back to see if any spell casting goes off. If none happens in four segments, move to engage in melee if possible. Okay, that's that's a well thought thing. Lagatha, roll to hit for your crossbow. That feels fairly harmless to me at the moment. Uh, so you dropped your weapon, but I believe you have yours on a sling, so you'll be able to either try again later in the round or continue with your plan of attack. You'll let me know. Seven, roll to hit with your crossbow. Okay, yeah, again, just like the description I gave for John D's dart, yeah, you, actually, no, you just flat has missed. Uh, uh, okay. Alright. Guys are not on our favor right now. Yeah, better to burn the bad rolls on the simple things. <laughs> okay. So, at this point, that takes care of the crossbows. Can believe it or not, party? did have initiative. I rolled a one. Mm. Okay, so, John D, you had your first dart shot. This moves us to the archers, the warriors. Uh, Essex, roll to hit.
Yeah, sorry, Dom. That too is a complete miss. Robin, roll to hit. 16 as that. Okay. Let's see here. There's about a one in six. No, that's gonna be, yeah. All right, so Robin, as it is, you're beaded in on the lead, one of these bloop, 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 red beach balls with multiple eyes and claws and a kind of scary looking mouth. And your arrow hits it. And it goes pop. Like an overinflated balloon. And chunks of flesh go flying and there's like this reddish powdery dusty looking stuff in, in, in like a five foot area where it was and uh, yes so that's that's the thing would that have a uh, splashed any of its comrades uh possibly i'll i'll keep that in mind because uh, that uh, has a visual effect. I you know, am very worried about something. Mm. Anyhow, party, you will all observe this. One of them just pop like a balloon, and chunks of it go flying. You know, here's a leg, an eye, there's a big flap of skin. What's that part of its mouth? Yeah, dude. Yeah, nasty. Uh... Okay, at this point, everybody has first attacks with missile weapons, correct? Yes. Valerie. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got a message. DM, may I alter my guy's actions based on this information? You know what, guys? I seriously don't think y'all were expecting that, so uh, I might allow for some editing here because, yeah. So I need to step away for a minute, but when I get back, Valerie, we need to do your magic missile damage. Yeah. Yeah! It's gonna be fun. one with an arrow and it splatted. I have an idea and I checked with Grills if it was meta and we'll see. say
All right, I have returned. Sorry about the interruption party people. Let's see. Wow, uh, Thorn and Pascal. Switching to throwing mundane daggers. Not sure if he'll get an attack if he does an eighth with them. Uh, okay, so Gorin, you, you've shot your crossbow and you pull out your hammer, and then what? Are you dropping the hammer or are you stowing it? I'm gonna stow it. I don't want to lose that hammer, and I recognize this probably means I won't get an attack. That's fine. But uh, I'm I'm a dungeon master in my own rights. I know how long it takes to switch weapons in and out. Passed okay, out. Switching to bow. <laughs> okay, you were moving. Pop. Er, brakes are on. Switching to bow. Mm -hmm. I do not okay. like that. Not one bit. I do not like these one-eyed twits. <laughs> no, they, I suppose they, they do have, have more than one. They ha yeah, they have multiple eyes. Uh, Lagos. Okay, you did not change anything, but holding off to see spell casting. Unless boop, 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 is spell Let casting. Let me know when I can enter in my in-game. Okay. Darts away. Uh, like to be able to switch to magic missiles spread out. Oh, John D, I shouldn't let you get in a dart attack and a spell. We'll see. <sighs> All right. Hmm. All right, with being delayed in the order. Let me know when uh, I can put it. Yeah, go ahead and put it in there. Already stay back, keep away from them. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I have a hunch we don't want to get splashed. Sorry, I was explaining stuff to Shadow, that's fine. Okay, so party, you've all had your first options with the exception of Valerie and Bevan at this point. So... You could have called it a mini round. No, no, not doing it. So, uh, Bevan, as you trot up there to engage, oh, that's right, Valerie's got range, and that's happening first. Seeing the burst and stuff going everywhere, chooses to stay back, unsure if they'll get burned by it. Okay, uh, alright, I'll be right back to you on that. Valerie, uh, I believe you still only get one magic missile. Dice your damage as your green bolt goes flying out there and hits one of them and pop just like the first one brb in 10 minutes tops i assume uh i thought she meant more so yes bravo you're you're you have destroyed the creature valerie you have shown it the might of your sorcery and uh I want to message stuff, but I can't because that would disrupt the flow of session. I have to check Clop up there, and you swing the Molinator. Roll to hit. with your, your mace and it goes flying backwards from you. Just like if you hit a beach ball. Okay. 
thank you. Do I and feel I any burning not. sensation or anything on it, me? Did it, it didn't get explode. on me? It did not explode. It just went flying away from you. I'd tell you to dice damage, but you did not. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay. At this point, the party has had their first attacks. And the monsters now have their turn. And I have to seriously get my A game back on. Y'all kind of dulled my senses tonight. With how long it took to actually get things going here. Let's see, they, they are swarming, and they move fast, party. So even though I understand that some of you are trying to uh, keep distance, yeah, party, these have a, things have a movement rate of 18. You're not going to be able to uh, keep your distance. So at this point, I've got to figure out how many of them are attacking who. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of you. Easy enough with the D10. The first one is attacking number five. That would be Gorin. Okay. Gorin, what's your armor class? Armor class negative three, incorporating my shield, which it, should not be it, accounted, so it should be negative two. It missed. The second eight. one attacking Valerie. Uh oh, I think I got a hit here. Because Valerie's armor class is on my cheat sheet. Oop, yeah, that's a hit. Valerie, one of these things just bounds through and claws you, and you will take two hit points of damage. Okay, Gina, you're back. You are the monsters. Yes. So, monsters. Third monster. You are attacking... Pascal, roll the hit, monster. Oh, close, but that is a miss. Fourth monster. You're attacking seven. Roll the hit. Nope, that's a clear miss. Fifth monster. Okay, fifth monster, that is a miss, regardless of who you were attacking. Sixth monster, you are attacking Pascal. Roll the hit. Ooh. Pascal, what is your armor class currently? I should be at negative two. Yeah, that's right. No shield because I'm using my bow or trying to use it. Oh, that was... You just missed him. Okay. Uh, I believe this is seventh monster. Monster seven, you're attacking Gorin. Ah, oh, that's a miss. Eighth monster. You're attacking Essex. Roll to hit. That is a miss. Ninth monster. Welcome back. You are attacking Pascal. Roll to hit. That is also a miss. Tenth monster. You're attacking Bevan. Roll to hit. Ooh. Monster, dice damage. One to four. Bevan, you will take two hit points of damage. Eleventh monster. You're attacking Robin. Roll the hit. Uh, yep, sorry, that's a miss. Twelfth monster. 
You're attacking Pascal. Roll the hit. Ooh, dice damage, monster. One to four. Pascal, one hit point of damage. All right. And this should be thir 13th monster. You are attacking... Three, four. Gorin, roll the hit. Gorin, negative three, correct? Negative two without my shield. Since I'm using daggers, I'm pretty sure I don't get it. I don't know. You can call. That is a miss. Is that a dagger in each hand? I'm not sure how you envision throwing it. Whatever oh, would give me my standard throw. throwing rate. Right? No, your shield would apply. You're right, throwing it's a negative three. Hand. All right, 14th monster. You are attacking John D. Roll the hit. That's a mess. God damn it. And 15th monster, you are attacking Bevan. Roll the hit. That is a mess. Okay, for those of you who have been hit, Please remember how many times you got hit, because that's going to come up next round. Because once they hit you, they don't let go of their own volition. Oh. Okay, so going down the list, Gorn, you're going to throw daggers. You can throw another dagger. Are you going to throw it at one of the ones on you or at one of the others? Do I see ones latched onto Pascal? Give me a perception check. I rolled a three. My perception's 15. Okay. Yes, you do. Hold your breath, brother, and throwing. Roll to hit. I rolled an 18. Uh, strength and dexterity both apply here, and I'm as an eighth level fighter, so... Pop. Pascal, take three hit points of damage. All right. Do I need to record that I took that much as well, or probably not, because the thing's dead now? I mean, like, not the damage, but that I took that this round. Yeah, you should record that you took three hit points of damage, Pascal. I'm, I'm talking okay. about, you said separately, if we get hit by one of these things, they latch on, okay. so keep track of that. <laughs> that one is no longer latched on. Okay. Thank you, I apologize, that question was worded very weirdly. Yeah, that, the little hinky, but I can understand. Okay, Pascal, you're getting an attack with your bow. Do you have another one on you, or...? I should have two more on me. But are they latched on? Not latched. Okay, are you shooting one of them or one of the others? Probably one of the others, because I need to, you know, have distance for the arrow to travel for it to work, right? Roll the hit. Alright, so yeah, just at random. I rolled a 16 before bonuses at 8th. 16. Pop. Now, which... You know what? D10. Simple enough. Oh! Okay, you shot at the one that was attacking Valerie. Hey. Valerie, take six hit points of damage. As yeah. the thing attacking you goes pop. And Valerie, give me that system shock roll. D20, right? Percentage, D100. Oh, it's a D100. Oh, did Val not level up? He did. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm not going to say you're fine because you've taken damage, but you didn't fail, so you're still conscious. Ow, you hurt, you know, but you're up. You're in it for the win, you hope, yeah? Hey, Dungeon Master. Yes. I hate to keep doing this. Did Gorn see Bevan hit one with their mace and just knock it back without popping it? Give me a perception check. I rolled a 15. That's on the nose. Then yes, you did. Duly noted, this will probably affect something next round. Okay. Alright. Uh, Lagatha or Seven, did I actually damage either of you this round? Lagatha has none attacking her, and Seven got attacked but missed, actually. Okay, because I was converting your option, the way you wrote it, to evasion, but since you were missed, that's a moot point. Uh, but yeah, you can't outrun them, so. What? But, 
Pardon? I said you can't outrun them. So, I'm not running. Oh, you said stay back. You can't stay back because these things are fast. Dungeon Master? Yes. Should I change my action to a non spell option? That's up to you. You've got a couple of moments because I'm going on to Robin, who gets a second bow shot. By, I meant by stay back, I mean when these things were popped, I, I just didn't want to be in range of the pop. Okay, well, I mean, one of them's attacking seven in melee, so you, you can't stay back. You can try, but they move faster. It was for getting a range attack, Dungeon Master. Okay. Well, you did your crossbows already, and you were going to do melee, but... Lagatha was meant to go again. You kind of skipped that. Crossbow, then holding back to see if any spell casting goes off. If none happens... She fumbled. Slipped some grass. Oh! Okay. All right. Okay, let me go ahead and do Robin. I will come right back to you. So, Robin, roll the hit. Yeah, you shoot it one further away so no one gets splattered. Uh, one of the, the, they're all near somebody. The one on Bevan, then. Okay, roll the hit. Yeah, mama? No, I just hadn't dealt with it yet. Okay, uh, Robin, that is a hit. You do not need to dice damage. Bevan, you will take three points of damage as uh, that thing goes pop. And I believe that's been four of them so far, unless I lost count. Okay, Lagatha, your backup crossbow, is there any particular one, or are you just shoot one? Uh, Lydia, you're... Yes, Lydia, you're, you, you, because you dropped your crossbow. And yes, it's on a, a tether, on a sling. That's why you get to shoot again so quick instead of having to pick it up off the ground. So I need to know which opponent, if you have a specific opponent you're attacking. Otherwise, roll to hit. The one on John. If I can see. Uh, give me a perception check for that, then. Hey, no, you cannot. Pro is also on. Hey, yeah. John, John, that is so fucking meta. If you do that again, I will take a level from you. Lagatha, you cannot get a clear line of sight on the one on John D. So pick an alternative target, or I will randomize. Roll to hit. Junior moved him. Because he stepped on it and ran on your treadmill for a bit. I don't know where he moved them to. Okay, uh, Lagatha, please, dice percentage. I know, that's 100, uh, 200 XP. You hit an ally, but there's no damage. So your crossbow bolt glances off of somebody's armor. In fact, Seven's armor, since that's where you were aiming to help her out. Now, Vader, I can appreciate you wanting to save Lagatha from shooting the one 
that's close to you and obviously doing that damage to her own familiar but that was so screwed up dude do not blurt that out like that again bad vader bad <clears throat> all right so you did your dart attack and you were gonna do a spell but you saw the results and you're gonna try and kick it away and then throw a dart at it. Boot counts as a blunt weapon. Okay. <sighs> All right. I get a little funky, but. All right. Okay, now, if you had chosen to do a kick, is your option for the round that would be your option but Vader I'm gonna be generous and I will allow you roll to hit as you are attempting to kick this thing a plain d20 I assume yep nope dice it damn <laughs> that's the gods, all fumbles. the dice gods have punished you where I was too soft Oh. 94. Blunt weapon fumble. Itself for one to six hit points of damage. So in this case, you tried kicking at something that is shoulder and head high, and you slipped. You lost your balance. You fell to the ground. Now dice your 1d6 hit points of damage that you inflict on yourself. The dice gods have spoken. Roll a six. One. Okay, John D. One hit point of damage. Uh, Lagatha, give me a... Dis or did he land on it? Give me a dexterity check for Saronix. Your crow did indeed take to the air and not get crushed underneath of John D. And Lagatha, give me an intel check while you're at it. Okay, so Lagatha, at this point, you would remember that, oh yeah, Saronix is right next to John D, and these things appear to be exploding and causing damage. Maybe, yeah, and I think that now mitigates uh, Vader's snafu. I hope you all agree. So. Yeah, bad Vader, bad. Okay. But it's handled. It's been smoothed out. I see Lydia's typing, so I'm going to hold off for a second. And then I'm definitely getting a cigarette, so. I got my action all queued up. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Okay, I don't see her typing anymore. Okay, in actions for the round, did I skip anyone? Robin, did you get your second shot? Yes, I had two. Okay. Uh, Essex. Essex, Essex. Essex. Did you get your... Ah, there we go. Essex, take your second shot and tell me which one by what it's attacking, or I'll just randomize it. cannot throw a dart while prone. No, you're done for the round. But yes, you can throw darts while you're prone. Essex, I either need to see a target selection or a die roll. Ah, there it is. Boom. At eight. At number eight. Who, who was getting attacked by number eight? Does anyone remember? I think that was the level he attacked at. He said at randomize. Oh, cool. Yeah, at randomize. Okay. Yeah, Essex, that is a miss. Now, for what's worth, eight in the list would have been Essex. 
the one on Essex. Ooh, that is so. Were you actually paying attention and marking it down, double? I was, although I did miss whoever number five is be is attacking between seven and Pascal. Uh, pretty sure that was Pascal because he got dogpiled. He's got four of them on him that I know of, or he had four right now. He's got three. Does he have five? He might have. Right. Well, not, After that's y'all killed the first two, there were 15, mm -hmm. and 15 attacks were made, and then y'all managed to kill two more. So there are 13 of these things now, unless I've made an error. Uh, I think 12? I don't know. I have a thing, but I you have the better thing, obviously. This is my player side keeping track of things. All right, party going for that smoke. Get your actions in. John D, you are prone. And, uh... I put the bow fire. Oh, there you are. Yep, you're right. I just overlooked it. Uh, do I see a Valerie? I'm waiting on a Valerie and a John D. And I see I have a message to look at. Assailant from Chrome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the in character chat? I gotta see this first. Damn, they hurt when you pop them. Devin, help me knock them back. Archers pop them at a distance. Oh shit, the party is thinking. God damn. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Gorin, draw hammer and try to knock the ones on him back. Sweeping attack. Wow, I'm, I'm picturing like an action figure with ping pong balls bouncing around and he's trying to do a sweeping attack. 
Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Pascal, bow fire. Yeah, give me a perception check, uh, Pascal. I rolled a 16. I'm pretty sure his perception is a 15. Yep, 15. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> So you're just shooting whatever there is. So yeah, no, I'm uh, not going to shoot one that's near me because I know it hurts. So reasonably, if I know this, I'm going to try and pick someone who's beefy like Lagtha or Seven who reasonably can take the punishment if that's not meta. That's not meta since they've been popped around you, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Fuck, maybe one of the ones on Gorn just because I know he's tough. Okay. LNS using the flats of their blade and attempts to bat these things away. Times two. Wow, more goddamn intelligent shit from the party. God damn! Bevan, swing again. Essex, bow fire. Robin, short bow. Valerie. Okay, Valerie, go ahead and give me a d6 to see your evasion. Let's figure that out first. for five. Okay, so Valerie, for the remainder of this round, instead of being your normal armor class, you are five, five steps better, and I think you know your armor class, so I won't broadcast it. <clears throat> well, that is sweet, Lydia. That is sweet. But I was dealing with it in the order that I read it. Again, intelligent shit. Very good. Bravo. <coughs> God damn. And you're typing again. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that passes the smell test, Lydia. That's good. And if I said what I said and it felt like it was, it's not. So, yeah, you're good. You, you get points for having been smart. Any which way. Yeah, good deal. Uh, okay, I will need... Uh, nobody has pre-initiative crossbow shit going on, so I need initiative from the party. May I? Uh, I don't care who does it. I think... Valerie's probably in the most danger, but... I'm not rolling initiative, I'm just typing up my dice roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. I rolled a four. Right. I four. rolled a four. Just now. <laughs> okay. I didn't see any typing other than Vader, who just called out that he wasn't doing initiative, so... Alright, so let me make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, Bowfire is going to go first, because party, you do not have initiative. Dart. Actually, yes, John D, you would actually go first since you get three attacks per round. You are throwing from the prone and you're attacking that one. What is that debuff? Yeah, I'm not telling you because you're not a dungeon master. Okay. Uh, roll to hit, John D. Hey, um. <laughs> yeah, John D. I'm sorry that that's a hit. Pop and take uh, four hit points of damage. Okay. Uh, next up is going to be Pascal with two shots. Uh, hey. DM, could I still target one of the ones by Gorin just based off the metric that he's close by? He's got a lot of them, and he is tough enough to take it. Yes, roll to hit. All right. I rolled a 15 plus 2 at 8. Pop! Yeah, Gorin, three hit points of damage. Mm -hmm. I'll accept it. <laughs> God damn it, Pascal, I told you to wait! <laughs> okay, uh... Essex, roll to hit. Okay. That is a 18 at 8. Pop! And Essex, didn't you have one on you? I did. They didn't hit me, though. 
four hit points of damage. Pop. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, Robin. Did you have one attacking you, Robin? No, I did not. Oh. Roll to hit. Wow. You know, just for shits and giggles, dice percentage, uh, it's kind of pointless. But just... Yeah. Sorry. Triple damage. <laughs> yeah, it didn't flash on my screen. Oh, there it is. 12. Yeah, triple damage. Wow. Don't forget your did XP. Did you several of them? No, you did not hit with several arrow? of them. Oh, I didn't know with an arrow flying through. I wasn't sure. Essex, did you have one or two on you? I had one on me, from what you told me. Uh, hey, Double M, who had number six on them? I believe Pascal, if my record is correct. Okay, Pascal, you've got one less on you, and take another four hit points of damage. Right. To be clear, do these, uh, well, projectiles oh, just go straight on past once they, uh, you're Pop. not sure. Are you trying to watch where it goes when it hits an explosive thing, or... Fair are enough. You, are you going for your next shot? We're... What are my options for next shot, by the way? Uh... Yes, double M. Okay, sorry, I was trying to keep track. I realized I forgot, so I typically play catch-up. Yeah, I should have been not marking this all down. I don't mind picking up slapstick guns. I could send you what I got if you want, but, uh, yeah. Nah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kind of enslave you to helping me with this task. Alright, and my, my records might be wrong, fair warning. That's okay, we'll deal with it. Okay. Grill. Yes? There was one attacking me, but it missed. Untrue. Just to clarify. Okay, well, you know what? Instead of shooting that one, you shot a different one. <laughs> okay, wasn't sure it is. And you bullseyed that thing. You let loose of the arrow, and you watched as your arrow was in flight, and you saw it pull all of its eye stalks in, and its mouth went wide, and the arrow hit it, and pop. Okay. So let's see. Have I missed any archers or missile weapon first attacks? No. All right, uh, party. You do not have initiative. However, the multiple attackers get to uh, swing first. So going down that list, Gorn, roll to hit. Sweep. I rolled a natural twenty. Dice percentage, what the fuck? I rolled 16. Okay, so Gorn, you knock that thing and it's like, it's out of the park! You, you lose sight of it because it goes through some leaves and other stuff. Is it dead or just moved? You're not sure. Right. I only hit one of them, or both? because I should still have two on me if my record oh, keeping's okay. up to date. You know what? You did say sweeping. I'll give it a certain amount of chance. Yeah, no, Gorn. They, they right. were at different elevations. You you could not line up. Because, again, think of ping pong balls bouncing yep. off a table. No, I, I'm happy where I've got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, Gorn, you've had your first attack. Lagatha, roll to hit. Does Lagatha have one on her? That would no. So she's helping somebody else, and that's going to be randomly determined. I have one on me. It just didn't strike. Okay. Well, roll to hit regardless. Lagatha, you attack at what level? Seven. Seven. Ah, real close, Lagatha. It sees your flat sword coming in, and it just kind of... Battle axe. Okay, the flat of your axe, and it kind of bounces, and yeah, just right under its feet. 
and seven. Roll to hit. Down number five on lag. Okay. Uh, seven. What's your strength rating? Eighteen. Wow! Okay, like the one that Gorin hit? Yeah, you lose sight of that thing. Okay. Uh, next up is... Next up is the monster. And they're bouncing around. Did anyone get hit last round and the monster was not destroyed? I don't believe so. Okay. In that case, monsters. Let's see. I have seven of you that are free agents. All right. So monster number one rolled a hit against John D. Oh, I'm sorry, Valerie. There's still one on Valerie? Oh, no, that guy. one was killed, but once they switched up. They're bouncing oh. around. Ah, oh, god dang it, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, that was a... Yep, that, that is a hit. Okay, Valerie. Oh, wait, no, you're invading. I gotta check that. Yeah, her... Oh, shit. Yeah, it still just hits you. Valerie, one hit point of damage. Okay, Gina, don't get too far ahead of me here. Okay, so that's one on Valerie. No, that one should be dead. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, Gina, I, yeah. We're, we're gonna wash that because I already rolled it. I forgot I was having you do that. Of course I have it. My bad. Okay, but that was monster number one. So. Okay, so monster one went on Valerie. And Valerie now has one latched on. Valerie latched. And I'm dealing with a message. <clears throat> Alright, so this listing here is gonna work too much. And person I've been messaging, does that click? Are you good? Alrighty. All right. Monster number two, you are attacking... Bevan, roll to hit. That is a miss. Okay. Double M, you got that monster mm -hmm. number two. All right. Monster number three, you are attacking. Lagatha. Lagatha's on the class. Monster dice damage. Lagatha, you take four hit points of damage. Latched? Yeah. Yes, latched on. Once they hit, they latch on for life. 
Okay, that was monster four. Monster number five, wait for it. I thought there was three on mine, I thought. Mm. They bop around. Ah. Monster number five, you are attacking Robin. Roll to hit. I didn't have three on me, I only had one. They move around. Monster number five, that is a hit. Dice your damage. Until they latch on, they keep moving around. Robin, you will take one hit point of damage. One of these things is on you. Monster number six, you're attacking Bevan. Roll to hit. Did you roll it already and I missed it? No, okay. Hold on, that should be monster number seven, not six. Okay, uh, that is a miss. All right, monster number eight. Hang on, you're attacking. Pascal, roll to hit. That is a miss. Monster. Unless I'm mistaken, that should be all the up monsters. That's, that's more than all, that's, that's, yep. Okay. Now the that's two that uh, got knocked out of the arena may or may not be coming back. Okay. <clears throat> I have to check. Half of them latched. Fuck. <clears throat> Excuse me. My pardons. Okay, so. Alright, monsters, thank you for your, uh. stuff there. Things. Okay, so moving back to. Okay. Wow, this cool got bulky for a second there. Alright, back to actions for the round. John D. Did you get hit? By the blast. Yeah, but do you have one latched on to you? Negative. Your second dart. Name your target or fire at random. I'd say random. Roll to hit. Nope. Yeah, afraid not. Okay. Uh, Pascal, your second shot. Roll to hit. All right. Fuck it, the one on Lagatha that latched onto her, she can probably take it. Okay, rolled hit. I rolled a six plus two from dexterity becomes eight at eighth. Eight at eighth. Oh, so close. But that's a miss. Very close. Okay, uh, next archer is going to be Essex. Roll to hit. That's a 14 at 8. 14 at 8? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. 14 at... You just got it. Uh, Double M, which... Wh who was monster number 6 attacking? I'm not sure because I don't have which one's labeled which. I believe Robin. I could be mistaken. No, you had said that at first that six was attacking me, but then you said, no, it can't be six. It has to be seven. Okay. Yeah. I don't know which one was one, two, In three. In that case, the seven, so much. take two hit points of damage. Okay. But one of the ones attacking Bevan is gone. Pop. Okay. Uh, Robin, roll to hit. I thought I grabbed the and then I did it, but I had no, no. Okay. Double M, who got attacked before Bevan? Valerie, it latched. Oh, no, I, I attacked first. Uh, number uh, one was me. Number one was me. 
Who got attacked by the fifth monster? There's one latched on me. Oh yeah, it would be Robin. My bad. Bevan was attacked twice, that's why. Okay. In that case, Robin, take two hit points of damage. Pop! You destroyed that thing. Double M? I'm sorry, four left. <sighs> okay. Double M, are you counting the two that got batted away? No, I wasn't. I'm talking about in play right now. Okay. All right, uh, Robins have shot, Valerie you've hated it, John D, you've had your second dart, the monsters have had their attacks, it's not time for your third dart yet. Goren, roll to hit. Okay. I rolled a two, plus two from strength becomes a four at eighth. No, that's a miss. There's Goren. Okay, uh, Lagatha, your second shot, roll to hit. Okay, bam, and uh, yeah, that one goes flying out of sight. Was that the one on Bevan or on Pascal or one of the latched ones? Uh, I would have powered the one that's latched on to me. Ooh. All right, Lagatha, you will take an additional one hit point of damage as you knock that thing loose. Their claws are curved like cat claws. And seven, roll to hit. I gotta check the chart because you know that's tenth, that's <coughs> but yeah you come real close there seven but that that dice roll sucked even with your bonuses so uh yeah that is a miss all right other than john d's third dart have i skipped anyone i have not spawned so. oh bevan you're right roll to hit Molinator. I'm sorry. I got so caught up in first attacks, second attacks. It's a lot to keep track of with these things. Well, it is, but still, it's, it's still my fault. Okay, Bevan. Blam! You smack that thing and it goes flying. I'm gonna assume the one that was attacking Bevan. Uh, we're gonna say so. Alright. Is that one considered out of the uh, park, kind of like the one Seven and Gorn smacked, or is it still within range? Considering she's using a, if, correct me if I'm wrong, a plus four mace. Correct. And Bevan's got decent strength and a lot of mass behind it. Yeah, I think that one's pretty much out of sight for the moment. Alright. Double the M, how... and out of here! <laughs> yeah. Double M, how many do you have as dead? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but I wasn't counting the one that Bevan knocked out earlier, or maybe I was, I'm not sure. Okay, nine destroyed and four knocked away. And three remaining alive. Fifteen total? Seventeen total. Huh. Nine, four, thirteen, three... I got it wrong twice in a row, apparently. Yeah, I'm missing one from somewhere. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> if I had uh, known, I'd have done a little bit better with the note taking. I was just doing for personal reference, and if I get something wrong, that's just oh, in character. I didn't know that perfectly either, so it works. Okay, John D, you may may take your third dark attack. And I realize I've been shortchanging myself. Oh. 
getting my dex bonus. Oof. Oh, sucks to do that, doesn't it? Not that it helps. Yeah, Chandi. That. Yep. Nope. Okay. So that is a miss. Oh damn, I forgot to queue up my actions. I was so busy note taking. Morales monster, the Morales monster, yes. Uh, two gruel for a, a bowl of copper. For a bowl yeah. of copper, yes. Uh huh. So the monster's morale has broken. Party, you may take parting shots when I get back from going pee. Or if you have other special actions you wish to do. So. Does it mean that they're not a match? Uh, I think somebody shot the one that was latched onto you. No, yeah. it ended up being they that on, uh, Robin. The one on me is still lot. Mm hmm Okay, so, yeah, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. And thank you, Gina. Yeah, it's probably gonna be faster. That just is, yeah. I just wanna know, so I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we gotta be careful. If that thing stays latched, we're gonna have to try and unlatch mm -hmm. without burning, yeah? Well, I... If it... If it still stays latched, I'm hitting it with my sword to try to knock it away. Alright. Take... Like, with the blood inside my sword. Good luck. I can't say anything. You might want to put that in action, actually. I can say that. Well, no. The thing is, I don't know if it's if it's not unlatched, then I won't. So do an if, then. If it's still attached, then I'll do that. Okay. If it detaches and runs, then I'll blah, 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 blah. said they attach for life. He did say that, but monsters can do fun things like that. How many hit points have you got left? <laughs> Valerie? Yeah. How many hit three. points do you have? Three? Hello? Yeah, three. Right. Three? Okay. Yeah, risky business there. All right. Lagatha and Seven, your foregoing parting shots to bind wounds, you will each recover a hit point. Goren, same thing. Uh, okay, Pascal, you may roll the hit. Note that I'm waiting for it to be far enough away that yeah. you don't have to worry. I rolled a two, plus dexterity would be four <laughs> at eight. No, no, that's a miss, you do it. Yep. Look, a man can dream. Bandages. Bevan, binding wounds and one hit point restored. Roll into kneeling, then standing in position, looking for darts, starting with last throne. Robin, one hit point restored. Let me consult my list. See, I've got a Bevan, I've got a Robin, I've got a John D, I've got seven, I've 
got a horn of Pascal, Agatha. I don't have an Essex, but I do have a Valerie. Dom, waiting on you, buddy. point restored and yeah Pascal you missed that shot uh, so yeah Valerie roll the hit hey, it's at fourth level probably yeah uh, okay well Swing and you miss. Let me check a thing here. Yes, it will inflict one more hit point of damage on you, Valerie, and then and flee with the others. Okay. Okay, for those of you who wish to know what these creatures are called for your list, they're called Gorbels. G-O-R-B-E-L. They are from the Fiend Folio. Nice. And I know some people were thinking, baby, uh, Beholders, Beholder. because of their multiple eyes and their globular shape. And uh, at this point, man, I'm... huh? What? Forgive me for or looking up an image. Yeah, do you want to post the picture of them, John D? Those things are kind of ugly. Put it in out of character, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Look at that they fucker. Have, they have six eyes evenly spaced around their head. Okay. So that's what y'all were fighting. And uh let's see. That many died. That many are left. Okay. Anyhow. Gina, I hope you enjoyed because you, you knew about this like a while back. Corbels. I got a feeling I need some healing. <laughs> yes. All right. So give me a second here, party. It was fun. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Okay. Now, party, I'm going to give you one round here, and you can either do stuff, or you can heal people, or one round. But we're 20 minutes after, so this is last round, and then we are ending session. Depends if I was successful at all with uh, dart finding. Yeah, uh... I'm going to get with you on that. I'm doing a timeline count. One, two, three, four. So it's that time. Yeah, I got to get with you on some other stuff too, Vader. Mm -hmm. So. All right, party, here's the thing. If you hit one of these creatures and it exploded, you know, normally, say you shoot an arrow and you have to do a saving throw versus uh, normal blow for wood thin, which is a six. In this case, the thing exploded. That's wood thin versus crushing blow. You need to roll a 13 or higher for arrows and crossbow bolts, or it was destroyed. Now, for metal objects like 
daggers or darts, which are metal tip, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. So normally they would need a two or better versus normal blow. They need a six or better as metal hard versus crushing blow. Now, of course, if they failed, they were destroyed. Magical bonuses do apply. You are on the honor system for these things. Oh, magic bonuses. Acids. So, like, if it's a plus three dart, I can add the plus three to it? Yes, you may. Right. If it's saved, then that means we found it, though? Or do we have to no, still it find it, look saved. for it? It means it's saved. It doesn't mean you found it. It just means it's saved. Right, well, my missile fire did survive, so I just have to look for it if I find it. It's mundane uh, armaments, so my guys don't mind too much, but, you know, we're a bit away from the wagons of resupplying, so I'm trying to right. conserve ammo. Oh, damn. I dropped a die. Ah, oh, there it is. Goodness, I remembered what was in my head because Oh shit. What are y'all in day what? Uh, One ninety two, isn't it? Should be in the actions, isn't it? Somewhere. One yeah. Second. Yes, one ninety two. Thank you. Yep, one nine tail as per actions. Okay, good. Timeline is handled. Oh, let's see. I got to go up here to that. That's done. What is this? Recording.